Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 21st to the 27th of June 2021. So we have another multi-layered and profound week here. Last couple of weeks have been pretty intense with the Saturn Uranus square and a couple of retrogrades and directs in the mix and those themes do continue but at a further stage this week. So we begin the week with Jupiter turning retrograde at the very early degrees of Pisces. So we've had a couple of weeks where we've touched, tipped our toe into the etheric waters of Pisces and had a taste of things to come. And from now until October, we'll be immersing ourselves in those soul waters, really letting go of a lot of our connection with the harsh, with the mundane, with the outside world. So that we can get in touch with ourselves, our cellular wisdom, and start to transcend our human condition. So this is very beautiful, and later in the week we'll also be joined by Neptune. So very, very Piscean energies this week. Have a look where Pisces is for you. It could be sun, moon, rising which house it's in in your chart and what natal planets you've got there because that's where a lot of the action is. So this week it's the summer solstice from the 21st to the 24th of June. Wonderful time to pause, to stop, to breathe, to smile. As Mercury retrograde wraps up, we've been exploring the mind, observing the mind, and a great way to just recenter your day is to stop, breathe, and smile. Think of something you're grateful for because this puts you back into the moment and stops that train of events accelerating. So here we can quieten the mind and expand into the space in between, which is a very calm and relaxing practice. The solstice is about the balance of light and dark, and we have both light and dark within us. This can be a battle, but at this time it can be brought into a fine balance with careful consideration. Consideration actually means going with the stars. So that's a wonderful word in itself. And that's what we're doing here. We're observing the stars and our relationship with them, with the individual and the collective conscious to see what can be done at the right time and what energies can be harnessed. So take a look at the balance of light and dark or the battle of light and dark within you. As we capture the light of the sun at the summer solstice and the light hours start to decline, go into the darker half of the year. But we can really bathe in the light at the height of summer and capture that divine fire energy, life force energy, and fire up each of our light cells. By Wednesday, we have Mercury turning direct at 16 degrees Gemini. So we end the second phase, but we've still got the third phase to go, which is the awareness phase, which takes us through to the 7th of July. So we had early May to the end of May as the first awareness, things popping up. that We can always observe to see what our retrograde story might be. And then the actual retrograde phase where things happen for recalibration, for change, for shift in perspective, as this was all in Gemini. And now we'll have the signs of that change. We'll be able to see what those changes are actually bringing and the difference that they make. But on the day that Mercury turns direct is a good day again to be still. So because this is the summer solstice then that should be fairly easy as things can do a 180. So still not a great time to set your mind to something and have a plan and force forwards but maintain that childlike curiosity that Gemini brings us. So it's brought introspection, insight, We've learned a lot and we should see that we're better off. So have a look back at your retrograde story. What happened? What changed? How have you changed? Have you managed to change your mind? Have you managed to simplify? All of those and more are the gifts of this recent Mercury retrograde in home sign Gemini. But we build up to Thursday where we've got the full moon at 3 degrees Capricorn at 19.38 UK time. On the same day or hereabouts, we've got Neptune turning retrograde at 23 degrees Pisces. So first of all, Capricorn and Pisces go very well together. They're both the feminine aspect, earth and water, and they're both very inward, old signs. So Capricorn is the sign of our inner gold. It's the gold inside of the mountain. 
and this will be enhanced by the Neptune retrograde in Pisces, tuning us into our real wealth that is our natural state. And this works perfectly this year because 2021 is a year where what's inside of us will be reflected back to us. So we already have so much more than we realise. But the modern world has us seeking outside, accumulating, acquiring. But here we tune into spiritual abundance, which is invaluable. It's a perfect time to reassess our priorities and to get our house in order. So take a look. What is your inner gold? What is the gift that you've got to give? What is it that you're grateful for and that you put your energy into and that you value? Because that will show you not only a glimpse of your unique essence, but also your path forward going forward in future years because that's really the busyness plan if you like take everything that you're good at everything that you value and then work in that direction give generously and receive abundantly so this full moon in capricorn with the neptune retrograde beautiful inner soul alignment that we can really listen to and feel into receive and then give from by Friday, I feel the meditation is what is inner strength for you. The recent Mercury retrogrades brought hopefully some flexibility and simplicity back, a clearer mind, more presence, more clarity. And with the full moon and Jupiter and Neptune both retrograde in Pisces, they're connecting us to our innate power. So we do need to reassess really the old equations of this equals success or this equals my goals, what I want that all gets taken deep within now as we start to recenter. So begin with your inner strength and your inner gold. What is it for you? What you truly value and care about? Focus your attention there with gratitude and appreciation as we're coming out of these intense energies, but very much being guided as to how we're going forwards in these amazing times. So as we head to the weekend, there's a filtering, all these aspects being recalibrating, realigning us to being soul-centered beings. And because Mercury retrograde in Gemini took us inwards to view our relationship of ourselves, many relationships in the external world are having a recalibration as well. So as Mercury goes direct, and as we start to find our true essence, we'll be going through profound changes, both within and with others. So as we connect to our true essence, going forwards it should be easier to connect with and to honour others. And we've got Mars in Leo and Venus in Cancer, quietly attending to the business of balance and harmony of the masculine and feminine. So it's a deeply energetic week really. We're not looking at what we're achieving on the outside or completing to-do lists, really being taken into our core into ourselves to find our true essence to let go of the old paradigm and the old perspectives to be able to relax to let those go to not have to and to be quiet enough to breathe to smile and to appreciate so if you'd like to see where this is happening for you i am available one-to-one -one online for readings coaching and tuition our transcending the negative mind cancerian episode is available if you'd like to tune into that for some tips and tricks on to how to navigate this month and really work with the Cancerian energies. I post daily on Facebook at AstroZo, Instagram at Zoe Ein 7 and all my videos are on my YouTube channel Zoe Astro. So please do contact me if you're interested in having a custom package designed for you. I'm very happy to give free phone consultation because there's so much that we can cover in so many different ways that I'm customising everything now and I'm very happy to design something specifically for you. So wishing you a transformative week. Take it easy. Go deep. Feel the waves. Allow the ebb and flow and centre in your inner gold. So those are horoscopes this week and I'll see you next week.